Uh, first of all, thanks for having me again. It's been a pleasure to see you guys again and uh, I'm honored. And uh, well, thanks to Alex from ATT for having us. <laughs> so talking about this uh, kit, yeah? Timberwolf Mark II. It took me about, well, enough time for a baby to come out from the womb. Nine months. <laughs> That's how much uh, I spent on this kit. Well, not to say that every day I spend five hours on this kit, just that, you know, with my work commitment, family commitment. So sometimes I left my hobby desk empty for a month just because of a day commitment. Okay, uh, what's with the design actually? Why, why white and grey and red only? Why all IBO? Yeah, why all IBO? Okay, first on why all IBO? Because for me, IBO is uh, quite different from other series. It's uh, quite mechanical, quite bare, which invites me to add my elements into it. Okay, my mechanical elements into it. That's why IBO. And then what with the colors? Why so Titan 4 looking uh, kits or model? Okay, uh, I put my actual work as a mechanical engineer into the perspective where every time I start a project on designing plants, my project manager always asks me, hey, can you design a plant that is just fit for purpose as well as uh, at minimal cost? So putting that into perspective, definitely my kids have to be uh, functional, fit for purpose, no no hanky-panky details and the color has to be as plain as possible with a very subtle uh, color separation not so interesting i mean you don't have so much red or blue or green or any striking colors because you're gonna send this kit to war anyway so you're gonna spend very little money on painting okay so it's end up looking like a very titan for mechas Uh, well, at the moment, I only use uh, spray cans. Not that I have any sentiments, but uh, my current setup at my place limits me to use uh, airbrush. No space for me to use airbrush at the moment, but definitely for my next project, I'm considering of uh, using airbrush probably. Ooh, I would love that. Modo, anyone? <laughs> Depends on uh, if I manage to complete another two kits to make up a, a squadron with the same color scheme. Or yeah, I think that's my ultimate uh, intention actually. Every kit has its own characters, but eventually it will be assembled together into a Infinity Wars kind of thing. My next project, well, uh, I have this guy here. It's been on my desk for quite some time. It's a uh, Shiden. Again, from IBO. I don't know why. I have so much magnet to this IBO thingy. And uh, the other one is, surprise, surprise. It's a uh, Gushen again. It's a, uh, it's a frog. I've done this once, but I think I'm gonna incorporate the same color scheme as, as close as possible to the one I have here. Okay, the, there are three most common questions I always have. First of all, where do you get the idea from? Okay, these uh, have to go through a lot of uh, uh, observation through websites, through games, through other people's work, okay? So then you try to generate your own idea from this uh, observation. And uh, the second question is pistons. Well, I, I'm quite well known with the pistons, I don't know why, but yeah, you can see all my works has uh, incorporated a lot of pistons. How do I produce pistons? Okay, I promise you, I promise you this time I'm going to make a tutorial on how to make a pistons. Do it with Awesome Toys TV. <laughs> sure, thanks. You can help me with that, right after this. <laughs> okay. The third one on the scribing, okay, I have done a lot of uh, 
tutorial on uh, scribing and still get a lot of questions on how do you make scribing similar to from one side to another okay to answer this question again you don't have to be so accurate it's just uh, get a feel whether you look uh, the scribing panel line looks uh, balance from one side to another that's good enough people are not going to you know measure your scribing uh, panel lines from one side to another you don't have to go to the accuracy first uh, on the I would like to emphasize again on the the principle of uh, gunpla is freedom Okay, when it says gunpla freedoms, try to not limit yourself to any fundamentals, any principles or any opinion. You are open to do any type of customization or any, whatever style of uh, modification you want to do, just go ahead. There's no limitation to it. Put your mind into a small child mind. There's no inhibition, there's no... Uh, uh, limitation okay just do whatever you want okay that's on uh, principle and uh, oh yeah on the location here at the angel strand and trading I've struck a special deal with the Toke Alex Alex okay all right so you want a, a good uh, bargain with the Alex check out the description down below where all the details about the promotion is uh, detail out there all right so that's all for me thanks cheers